This is episode 21 of 30 years in the making. We are at WrestleMania 21, boy. WrestleMania 21. Woo! Woo! And we're in Hollywood uh, with 20,193 people also watching it with us. I felt like I was there. Um, <laughs> Lillian sings the national anthem. And then we go into the trailer, which we get to see all the parodies um, leading up to this WrestleMania. And we get to see a special new one, which was Stone Cold with Steve Austin doing Gladiator. Amazing. Ooh. I loved all those videos. They yeah, really they were pretty good. Oh my god, so funny. They didn't, get, they didn't show all of them. I always liked um, Eddie Graham, Booker T doing um, Pulp Fiction. I, I also really liked, liked Undertaker Din Day, Harry, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I did. Um, we then go into the first match, which I would like to say from the start, this is a contender with Owen and Bret Hart as one of the best openings of WrestleMania history. This is amazing, yeah. this opening. It was really yeah, good. It was actually. really um, good. Rey Mysterio against Eddie Guerrero uh, for 12 minutes, 39 seconds. Um... We get Feynman's carry onto Rey Mysterio in which he lands on his feet. Um, arm locks into jumping onto Eddie's shoulders and then Eddie then sends Mysterio flying to the outside. We then get a test of strength with Mysterio flipping Eddie to the mat and then doing the double bridge at the same time which looks awesome. Um, mm. We get to see suplex um, but Eddie lands on his feet to which then Rey f is flipped to the outside um, but then lands on the apron and his clothesline down. There's a planter over the top rope by Eddie. Then there's a surfboard by Eddie, as everyone knows Daniel Bryan does that now. Um, then we get to see, uh, later on in the match, corkscrew plancher to the outside by Ray. Um, then a springboard takedown by Ray, but he runs into the elbow after. We get three amigos counted into a pin, but there's a kick out of two. We go for the three amigos again, but that's reversed into a hurricane rana. Um, 619 is then ducked into a tilt -a world backbreaker, which looks fucking awesome uh, for two. There's the three amigos finally hit, but Eddie misses the frog splash. Um, Eddie reverses a pin cover into his own for a two count. We get the 619 and the West Coast pop is then reversed into a massive power bomb, which literally folded Mysterio up for two. Mm. Um, then there was a tilt well hook and runner by Rey Mysterio for the cover and the win. See, I thought Guerrero looked absolutely stunning at the beginning of this match. And I don't mean attractive, but I'm saying like he, he was in his Not best... Happy. I think <laughs> he was in his best physical form that I've ever seen him. Yeah. Like, yeah. He looked sculpted. He did look awesome. And Rey Mysterio, I kind of, I liked him for a little while when I first got into wrestling. Then I got really bored of him and I couldn't stand him. This match, he was amazing. This so, was when yeah. Mysterio was good. He this was, was really yeah. good. was good. This was before he took the steroids and became really big. This was when he was Well, still this quite is small. before next year's WrestleMania. That's when he turns a bit shit. But um, we get to see Eddie obviously frustrated, but he decides to shake hands with Ray. Um, this is the build up to Eddie's last heel turn before he dies mm. in which I got to see live when he um, turned on Ray Mysterio during the tag team match in England. It was amazing. Rest in peace Eddie. Um, yeah, Eddie's last match for us at WrestleMania. Um, yeah. And we'll let it go out as well. It's yeah, a great match. Um, it's a shame you lost it. Um, I have a huge yeah. Eddie fan. What did you think of Eddie? You haven't really seen much of him, have you? You've only seen the WrestleManias of Eddie. That's what I've seen of him. But to begin with, I just knew this, there was his reputation. And I felt like I was under some sort of pressure to love him. But there was no pressure at all. He was really, he was incredible. Mm. Yeah, he I was think, um, a fun, you know, he had a fun thing yeah. going with him, with his music and stuff like that, his character. And he was just a brilliant wrestler. I, I, I think he was He incredible. was. Um, I think... The first um, like time you got to see him was like WrestleMania 17, um, yeah. and it wasn't the Eddie Guerrero that was the chiselled Eddie Guerrero. And then when he came mm. back for WrestleMania mm. 19, and he did all the amazing wrestling and everything, that was the Eddie Guerrero we all loved. Um, yeah. And yeah, we miss you, Eddie. We yeah, close really to you. And he had also had an amazing package. He was great on the mic, great character, great in the ring. He was just what makes wrestling so great. Oh, you're fantastic. not talking about his actual package. You're talking about him being a package. Yeah, him being oh, okay. him being the talk, him <laughs> yeah. having the it factor. <laughs> yeah, and the fact is like even as a face or a heel, everyone still loves him because yeah. he's that charismatic and that I mean, awesome. This, yeah, we miss you, Eddie. It's just a shame that this is the last time we get to mm. see him. Um, we then go to the backstage where we get to see JBL with his cabinet, Orlando Jordan, and the Bashams bumping into Triple H and Ric Flair. They have a back and forth and. Um, Triple H decides he's going to take a drink from an imaginary drink from an empty <laughs> cup. Ridiculous. Um, and sort out your fucking hair on that beard. Oh, my God. Um, then we go into the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match. we got Edge, Chris Jericho, Benoit, 
Shelton Benjamin, Christian and Kane in a 15 minute match. Amazing! Awesome yeah, match. such a good match. Um, I wrote mm-hmm. down that Kane's entrance was the ladders all set up but they were on fire. Yeah, awesome. that was an awesome match. really awesome. awesome. To behold. Um, Everything is awesome in this match. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Um, I'm going to go into the spots of the match. Um, we got Jericho bouncing the ladder into Christian's face. Uh, this was when Christian was really good in the ring. Yeah. Um, we got a springboard mm. drop kick on Benoit and Edge um, by Jericho, and then they started to. Then Christian jumped with a springboard crossbody onto the outside. Then Shelton went with a helo over the top rope, which looked awesome to the outside. And then Kane goes to the top rope and clotheslines everyone on the outside. Yes. Um, Kane then uses the ladder on everyone before Jericho drop kicks it in his face. Jericho drops the ladder on Edge, which was quite funny. And then there was a German by Benoit on Jericho, which sent the ladder to the outside. Um, there was a choke slam off the ladder, which was, but that was reversed into a crossface. Edge attacks, but that's reversed into a crossface as well before the ladder in the face of um, Benoit. Kane then uses the ladder on Benoit's arm. He slams it onto mm. Benoit's arm. And Benoit mm. sells this motherfucker for the whole match. My God. Yeah. Like his arm is broken. Um, there's a spear on Kane, and then there's the concerto with ladders on Kane by Edge and Christian. There's then spring boy clo- springboard clothesline by Shelton Benjamin on Edge and Christian. Um, there's a spear, um, which is reversed into the ladder. Um, a stinger splash in the corner by Shelton Benjamin. Um... Oh, I've lost my place. Oh, everybody's fighting on top of ladders, uh, to which um, Christian hits an arm breaker on Benoit's her arm. Um, Edge is then T-boned off the ladder, which was awesome. That was an um, awesome spot. Then we got easily the spot of the night. Um, <clears throat> there's a ladder set up, and then there's a ladder set across it like oh stairs. And Shelton Benjamin runs them up like stairs and clotheslines Jericho off. Amazing. He's like the Flash. It's <laughs> this yeah. Kofi Kingston is basically a rip-off of is Shelton it? Benjamin. And then they have yeah, that really is. awesome camera angle where there's a camera above the case and you get to see it all like from above. Yeah. Why the coyote? Cam- yeah, like the, ca- the coyote cam, yeah. Yeah. That was, that was a great cam. Um, Kane then chokes Sam's Benjamin over the top right, but Benjamin gets his leg caught in the ropes. Um, then Tyson Tonko gets involved trying to help Christian to win, but um, Kane knocks him over the top rope and then Kane pushes Christian over the top rope off the ladder onto Tonko. Um, Jericho and Kane are fighting at the top of the ladder, um, to which the ladder falls. I'd say falls. Um, so Jericho lands on the outside. Kane gets um, guillotined. Um, then we get to see Chris Benoit do a headbutt off the top of the ladder onto Kane, which oh. opened up these stitches. Uh, looked awesome. Oh. Um, then Kane goes oh. to the choke slam onto Benoit off of the ladder, but Benoit hits all these headbutts, which knocks Kane down. Um, and then Benoit's going for it and then Edge comes in with the chair and it hits the arm and uh, that sends Benoit flying Edge grabs the briefcase and gets the win and this is the start of Edge's massive main event push mm. I was really excited I thought Edge like I was so happy that he got it but Benoit my god oh so good I had to ask he? you he's beginning to make me feel really freaking dumb as a wrestling fan because every time I'm like is he actually hurt is he actually hurt because mm. he can sell he yeah, sold he can sell. this like Someone had shot his arm off. It was amazing <laughs> how he sold this for the whole match. As he well. was like screaming match. in agony. At the end of the match, he was biting the mat. Yeah, there was, was like yeah. there's one point. I think it's when he goes for the headbutt and he's trying to set up the ladder and he would use his arm, but as soon as he used the arm, he'd suddenly grab it to his body and start screaming in the pain. In pain, great. You know, great stuff. There's obviously he's obviously a controversial character, you know but if you want to learn how to sell, watch Chris Benoit. The, mm. the night we're filming this happens to be the night of the Oscars. Give that man an Oscar. Well, not now. <laughs> at, at the time, definitely. Yeah, yeah I don't think... Give, give him one and, and then... Don't give him anything No, now. let somebody... Yeah. <laughs> oh, and okay. it shows what <laughs> missing in wrestling. Like, you don't really see... It is, no, to be fair, on your part, you watch him wrestle and it's easy to forget what happens because he is that damn good in the ring. You know. We're judging him on his wrestling. And yeah. then today, I've come into this... You know, I'm, I'm watching him as I'm watching him as a wrestler. I did not, you know, I wasn't around when that happened. And like I said, we're not judging him on that. So. No, exactly. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Uh, we then move on to the next segment in which mm-hmm. Eugene comes out and tells us that it's when King Kong Bundy is attacked by the midgets. Midgets are awesome! <laughs> midgets then, are awesome. And then the Cheering forgotten heel, Muhammad Hassan and Davari come out. 
and they attack um, Eugene and Hulk Hogan returns. Gotta have the weird section of WrestleMania. Yeah, Hulk Hogan comes out. Eugene so. was a treat. It's really <laughs> weird, isn't it? How did how do you get away with playing a retard? Eesh. How is that possible? Yeah, but you've got a retard and a terrorist in the same section. I think you get away. I don't know what's worse. It's pro wrestling, pro wrestling like to add yeah. you know, all this stuff. I know, know what's worse. Hogan. <laughs> Sorry. I know what's awesome. worse. <laughs> I'll tell you what's worse. This. Oh. <laughs> right, we then move Shame on to a on match you. that Ever. I was very excited for when it f- actually ha- when it first happened. Yeah, me too. Um, Randy Orton versus The Undertaker in 14 minutes, 14 seconds. I wonder who's winning this one. Um, the streak was finally being built up. 13 and, well, 12 and 0. At this point, oh, <laughs> damn it, I spoiled it. Hey, um, you know it's you know it's continuing the streak. Yeah, it was so. a really mm. quick start for an Undertaker match. Um, Orton goes for the RKO, but he's dumped over the top rope. Then we get the old school. Orton ducks the big boot in the corner, and then drop kick is dropped kick off the apron. There's a not we get this is the first WrestleMania we get to see the running DDT, which um, becomes one of his famous spots. And we also get the snake eyes, but the big boot is turned into an elbow by Orton. Undertaker sits up from that, and there's a power slam by Orton for a two count. Um, the ten count happens in the corner, um, and just before he goes for the ten count, Orton does the awesome pose, and Undertaker suddenly grabs him and goes for the last ride, but Orton jumps out of it, um, and um, Orton's pushed into the ref by Undertaker. Um, Undertaker goes for the last ride, um, but I think, I don't know what happened, but I think Undertaker actually drops him. <laughs> By accident, because then Cowboy Bob Orton comes out and hits him mm. with the cast for a two count. Um, Orton's obviously shocked, and that's when the Undertaker sits up. Undertaker big boots Bob Orton, hit um, goes for the <coughs> choke slam, which is reversed into an RKO, which is probably the spot of the match. It was an amazing reversal yeah, was a really for a two good spot. count. Awesome um, then Orton calls for the Tombstone, but that's reversed um, for the Undertaker to hit the Tombstone and get the win for thirteen and zero. Um, mm. It was yeah. a decent match. It was a really decent match. A lot better than last year's match. That's for the sure. entrance was also pretty awesome, but it didn't beat last year's match. No, yeah. The entrance was the Druids all coming out, and then Undertaker yeah. glides to the ring. And that was pretty cool. It was funny, but it, it was, was it was cool. awesome. But it's, it it's was awesome like entrance, until they so. showed the camera angle of him actually on the platform going along. Like, <laughs> what an idiot. That's <laughs> so amateur to show that. Um, More smoke. They'll let, next year, there'll be so much smoke. There's just always smoke, isn't there? Yeah. Loads and loads of smoke. Um, we then go into the next match, which I didn't write a lot for this match. Um, <coughs> Hello, ladies. Yeah, Not Christy Hemi game. against Trish Stratus for four minutes and 11 seconds. I The first thing I wrote is, Christy's really trying. <laughs> <laughs> and it also just shows how good a wrestler Trish is that she's able to carry Christy to a reasonable good match. Yeah, uh, I mean, um, there's massive chops by Trish. And um, there was a nice spear-like takedown by Trish. Um, oh, Trish attacked. Well, at mm. this moment, actually, Lita had just done had knee surgery. She actually had a brace over her knee, so she was yeah. trying to come back. Stone Cold does it. Yeah, not straight after knee surgery. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, Trish actually attacks Lita on the outside. Um, there's a reverse twist of fate by Christy Henry on Trish, but there's a kick out, and then Trish just hits the kick, kick the chick kick, and no way, and gets the win and retains her title. Um, yeah, not a very good match at all. But then that's because you've got Trish Stratus in with a model. That's just the way it is. Um, well, at least because she was trying, though. At least she wasn't like with no, like people I said, nowadays she, that don't really care yeah. just to do it because they want to be on TV. She tried, damn it. Yeah. You know, she she tried, she's not damn like it. the best. She bellies. tried. Yeah. Or, or Eva Marie. Oh. <laughs> um, Doesn't matter, though, because the next match. Well, yeah, we then go into... Um, what I would say is probably the best build match, um, definitely. The build to this match is Kurt Angle goes into the Royal Rumble, gets knocked out by Shawn Michaels, so Kurt Angle comes in back into the Rumble and knocks out Shawn Michaels himself. But they did this really cool thing of tying up the fact that in 1996, we reviewed it, um, Shawn Michaels beat Bret Hart in the Iron Man match. That was the same year that Kurt Angle won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Um, yep. And they tie it in by Kurt Angle saying, I just won a gold medal. And everyone was talking about Shawn Michaels winning this Iron Man match. And it's not fair, you know, sort of thing. Me, I am the best wrestler in the world. And they didn't show it as well in this build up. But there was this really cool like segments on SmackDown. Because 
Shawn Michaels on Raw, Kurt Angle's on SmackDown, where um, Shawn Michaels, um, Kurt Angle, sorry, vowed to do everything that Shawn Michaels had done in his career in the lead up to WrestleMania. Yep. So he beat Marty Jannetty. Um, he sung his own theme music with Sensational Sherry before hitting the ankle lock on her. He beat someone in a ladder match. It was a really cool sort of sequence to get to this match. And I wish I'd seen it. It is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It, is it really was pretty good. cool. It's hard to get the 2005 stuff, but I'll see if I can. Um, we then get Shawn Michaels against Kurt Angle for 27 minutes and 25 seconds. Um, it was a lovely 27 minutes. Yeah, awesome match. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um... We start with <laughs> we start with the whole way. Can I just say something? The whole way through this match, Dan was I mean Bingham was screaming at the TV, break his fucking leg, Angle, break his ankle, <laughs> let's go, Angle. All I got was violence <laughs> in my ear towards the lovely HPK. That's because Shawn Michaels should not be winning this match. Um, HPK straight away slaps Angle. Which Angle gets angry and takes down HBK and schools him in wrestling. Literally wrestles him all over the ring. Mm. Um, Angle's wrestling machine. Oh, yeah. Sorry. There's. Are you yawning? At sorry, Kurt Angle? No. Yes. No. Yeah. I'm going to call. How can you yawn at Kurt Angle? I'm going to call the wrestlers ever. I'm not. Um, do it. Do there it. was a headlock locked in. Um, despite rolls and suplexes, um, HBK manages to keep the hold on Angle. Um, a German is switched, and then that's switched again into a headlock takedown. Which there's a lot of headlock takedowns in this one. Um, mm. The headlock is then flipped into a pin in, but then it's kicked out. To which the headlock is then put back in, and that's reversed again. To which that's reversed. To which that's reversed. To which that's reversed. To which that's reversed. Um, in clinic. Angle lifts HBK whilst in the side lock, uh, side headlock, which was pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, there was an ankle lock, but HBK rolls out before clotheslining both lock. over to the top rope. Really? Um, there were uppercuts from Angle, which straight away made me think of Cesaro. Um, then there was a suplex attempt through the table, but HBK manages to get out of it, to which Angle lifts HBK onto his shoulders for an angle slam, but instead backs into the ring post um, mm. to hurt the back. Um, sorry. Um, Angle starts to work on the back with suplexes and body scissors for the rest of the match, and then there was a throw into the corner with the belly to belly from Angle. Um, there's also another slap from HBK, to which um, Angle clotheslines him. I don't know why HBK slapping him in the face. You know, Angle's not disrespecting HBK at all during this match. Fuck you, HBK. Right. Um, if you want to get his rise out of Angle to make sure, like, come on. Fuck come you, on. HBK. 100%, man, 100%. Yeah. Um, Angle goes for the top rope belly to belly, but HBK sends him off and then goes for the top rope elbow, which missed. Good. Um, then the straps came down and Angle goes for the angle slam, <coughs> but that's counted into an arm drag. Um, and then there's a back body drop over the top rope. Um, the top rope cross body then onto Angle, but Angle um, actually catches a knee in the face. Like it looked quite hard. Um, <laughs> break his fucking ankle. Um, Angle go then goes for the ring apron German, just like in the last video. Um, but then Shawn Michaels low blows him. Ha. <laughs> yeah, to which Shawn Michaels is the face. Remember, um, he kicks yeah. Angle onto the announce table, and then he leapfrogs. From the ropes with a moonsault onto the announce table, but the announce table, the reinforced announce table apparently doesn't, doesn't, break. doesn't break. Reinforce my ass. Um, I will reinforce it as well. <laughs> um, there's a forearm and then a kip up. Uh, we get a oh, scoop that slam. Oh, the kip up was lovely. Well, there's the rock does it well. Um, there's a scoop slam, then a top rope elbow, and then we get called for the sweet chin music, to which Angle catches the sweet chin music and turns it into the ankle lock. Um, obviously yeah, um, HBK gets out of it Angle Slam is then reversed into a pin but that's reversed into an ankle lock which is then reversed into a pin for a two count um, HBK goes for the super kick again but it's blocked and then we hit get an angle slam for two um, then Angle puts the straps up and then puts them back down again to tell us where he means business um, yeah. then misses a moonsault from the top rope um, HBK goes to the top rope um, to which Angle jumps up and then hits a massive Angle slam off the top rope yeah, for a two count um, Angle then shouts at HBK to tap out and then starts to pick him up and then he gets hit in the face with a super kick um, both men are down for ages to which HBK finally gets the arm across but it's only a two count um, HBK gets up 
the angle um, suddenly comes out of nowhere and locks <clears> in the <throat> ankle lock. And HBK is in this ankle lock for about five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he ke- he keeps the ankle lock locked in despite him trying to get to the ropes. Then he does the grapevine. Again, the HBK is in it for ages before finally, finally tapping out because Angle broke his ankle. Um, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. So but why I, is it so anti HBK? Because he's against Angle. And also, I'd like to say, I'm very upset that HBK is in the ankle lock for so long without tapping out. Okay. Now, if we took this as in storyline purposes and all that crap, the ankle lock is meant to be a really powerful move that can snap your ankle in half. HBK is in the ankle lock for at least two minutes before tapping out. Well, he How is. weak does that it's, make it's, the it's, move It's look? because they want to show the determination and the willfulness of HBK not, I get not tapping that. out so quickly. I get that. If they wanted to do that, they could do it differently. They could have done ang- um, uh, HBK passing out. I guess like HBK yeah. is at least struggling with it. Like He, he, does, he is selling. I appreciate maybe it shouldn't have been as long, but he's selling. It's not like... Imagine no, if Cena was in that move. No, I get he's selling it, but yeah. my point is th- yeah. it would be like... I'm trying to think. Who it would be like someone being in um, the no lock for two or three minutes before tapping out. It, it makes, makes the no look no lock look weaker than what it is. I guess if he was taken out really quickly, then it shows how even more impressive it is. And if, and also, if you've got a lose to somebody, then lose well. You know. And also as well, maybe it just shows how the own clock wasn't good enough, but he's using the grapevine made the great one look a lot. No, because even when he was in the ankle lock with the grapevine, it was still a good minute before he tapped. You know, I get building up the tension, but mm. you know, it was too long. I thought it was way too long to be in the ankle lock. You know, being it for like thirty seconds to a minute, not three minutes. Okay, fuck you, HBK. Right. Um, but I definitely did love the spots like the angle slam and or the top right angle slam. It was a good match. Pose it was, was a very good match. It's Brilliant a match, match that it gets forgotten a yeah. lot. It's a match that definitely gets forgotten. Um, we then get the trailer uh, for Best Punchline and Best Supporting Actress, which is basically the Basic Instinct one, um, with Christian, Chris Benoit, um, Chris Jericho, Stacey Keebler, May Stacey Young, Keebler! and Fabulous Moolah. Looking at Stacey's knickers, and then looking at Moolah's knickers, actually. No, yeah. not knickers. It wasn't meant to be Moolah, um, at May Young's knickers. Um, we then get Piper's Pit with Stone Cold Steve Austin as a guest. That was awesome. It was, was really awesome. awesome. Um, Piper even... Interacted with the crowd because this was when the what chant was. That was so rife. good. Yeah. That was yeah. It was like what? Did you hear me? Yeah. What? Don't you understand what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and I also love the fact oh. as well he absolutely said WWF, which was quite funny. Yeah. Um, and then Carlito came out and they both basically both beat him up and then they had a beer bash before Stone Cold hit the stunner on Piper. This was almost a passing. Like it was almost it's a generation thing, wasn't it? It was passing the torch, which I know I appreciate. Stone Cold was still not exactly fresh, but you know. It no, was I took it as um, oh, you, uh, you had two veterans, and then you had the young Carlito get involved. And right. although he got beaten up because he's involved with these big vet- veterans, it's kind of this is the next generation. I don't know Carlito. Is he a big deal? No, they tried to make him a big deal, obviously, but he eats it's... apples. I'm sorry, beers, apples. And also, that's not cold. And also, no. well, also thought it had a really good summer because you had two amazingly good people on the mic, so you know, it, and these people just say whatever they want to, so you know it's going to be really interesting, it's going to be quite funny, like when they call each other bastard and a bitch and slap each other, yeah. the first like minute, you know yeah. it's gonna be, this is going to be a great segment. Yeah. Both slapped each other and it was like, right, I'm glad we got this over with. Yeah. Um, we then go into the best overall um, trailer, which was the taxi driver scene, in which we got awesome. lo- yeah. practically everyone on the roster. Um, Batista was quite funny in this one. Big I show was good. Yeah. And I love the whole Batista joke. It reminded me of one of those, like, who's on first, like, what's on second, and that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. You know? um, what's that joke called? Who's who's on the plate. That's it. Sort of thing or oh, something, yeah. isn't it? The um, comedy thing. Um, who's on the plate? Who is? Yeah, who is on the plate, and his name is Who. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, who? <coughs> um, <laughs> we then go into Aki Bono defeating the Big Show in a minute and three seconds in sumo match for the match of the night. <laughs> Awful. You love that. Um, oh, that was a bad match. Jump in the trunk. Tra- interesting tidbit, Michael Hayes did the theme tune for the Big Show. Yeah, apparently so. Um, then we go into the next match, which is John Cena defeating JBL in 11 Yay. minutes 26 seconds for the WWE Championship. 
usual Cena match. Um, Cena's getting beaten down for three quarters of it, and then he suddenly he ducks the clothesline from hell, hits the FU, gets the win. Cena won, wins his first WWE title. And that's all I've got to say about that. Yay! It happened. It Hall happened. of Fame comes out. Um, this year's Hall of Fame is Cowboy Bob Orton, Nikolai Volkov, Iron Sheik, Paul Orndorff, Mr. Wonderful, Jimmy Hart, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and Hulk Hogan. Gotta love Iron Sheik. Oh, Gotta love the Iron Sheik. I break his back and make him humble. <laughs> if you are on Twitter... Yeah, definitely. After following us... You should follow Iron Sheik because yeah, he's should. very funny. Definitely. He's very, very funny. He's a very strange man. He's a very strange man. That's why we love him so much because yeah. he's so strange. It's like... I think uh, the best bit about all these legends coming out was looking at the past divas that became nothing, like Joy and Candice Michelle and Maria. Candice Michelle won the, the w- divas or WWE Women's mm. Championship. Or... Tits McGee Club, sort of. Oh, uh, Miss, Miss Jackie, yeah. <laughs> Marie, the only thing she did in her career is, um, oh yeah, she got her heart broken by CM Punk. Yeah, that's and it. she's now in Ring of Honor. Yeah. The first lady of Ring of words. Honor, apparently. Um, then we go into the next match, which is Batista defeating Triple H in 21 minutes and 34 mm-hmm. seconds for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh look, Batista's um, main event in WrestleMania 21. Wouldn't it be cool if at WrestleMania 30 mm-hmm. he was main event as well? Oh, it'd be so cool. Nine years later, um, oh, Motorhead okay. played Triple H to the ring. Um, this match is all about the game. It's all about the game. I play. I'm not going to throw it at me, kid. Well, basically, this match was a massive brawl. Um, Triple H gets busted open on the ring steel yeah. steps. Um, but then Triple H, um, Batista manages to fight back, um, hit the power slam, do his old Ultimate Warrior stick, and the thumbs down, and he hits the Batista bomb to win the title. Yay! And that's WrestleMania 21. I think it's safe to say that the first half was a lot better than the second half. Yeah. yeah. Completely. Yeah, a lot better. Okay, let's go into our awards. Okay, let's go. Match the night. Who? S- Chipmunk. Me. Match the night was um, HBK Angle. Shocker. Oh, shut up. Match the night. Angle Michaels. Mine is Eddie Guerrero Rey Mysterio. Okay. Definitely Eddie Guerrero Rey Mysterio. Um, wrestler of the night. Um, Mark. Uh, Cat Angle just because of how amazing he was and the amazing spots he did in the match with Shawn Michaels as well just how good he is I was going to put them both in there but I thought I'll go more for Cat Angle yeah Chipmunk um, I would have gone for either Angle or um, HBK but because I've already voted on that match I'm actually going for Benoit because I actually thought he did a very his selling skills are incredible yeah mm-hmm. so I'm going I'm going with him um, I had three I was going to choose from it was either going to be Angle Benoit or Guerrero because it's last <laughs> it's Guerrero's last one. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing. Mm. I wonder. Seeing as you've gone oh. for Angle, you've gone for Benoit. I'm Guerrero. going for Guerrero. I love the fact we've got all of them in the. Yeah, you know. indeed. All three of them. Oh. Uh, you've got to love Guerrero. Uh, but like you said, Benoit was amazing in that match. And he really was, and it kind of shows what wrestling's missing now. We don't really get that much selling anymore. It's just like sell for a minute or two. They're just like, yeah. He didn't He's even fine by like, the next week. He didn't even win the match. It goes to show it's the same thing in acting. You can have a really small part to play in, in you know, on the screen and, and in the performance, but you can make it the biggest thing, the most memorable thing. Yeah, yeah completely. You forget Edge won that match. I love Edge, but you'd think Benoit did because yeah. the attention he got. Mm. I mean, it makes you think that um, Eddie Guerrero dying, it should have been either Chavo Guerrero or Chris Benoit that got the big push because Eddie Guerrero died. But no, it was Rey Mysterio. They got the big push. Um, moment. WrestleMania moment. Chipmunk. Okay. Um, I hope I get his name right because I may have wrote it down wrong. Is it Shelton Benjamin? Yes. Shelton? Yeah. Running up the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Great moment. Moment. Uh, mine for me was Austin and Piper being in the ring together. Oh, and their interaction <laughs> between each other was amazing because you had two, as I said earlier, amazing people on the mic and amazing people with their improv and they're like, what's going to happen? That for me was my moment. Yeah, that was pretty um, awesome actually. I should have probably picked that. And younger, possibly so. Hogan come, and possibly Hogan back as well because I was a massive Hogan fan. Yes. I still am, and it was awesome for me well, to have Hogan back. Uh, Austin Piper. Austin Piper. I will actually um, say, and it pains me to say it, it's going to be Hogan in front of the screen with the American flag. It was a pretty cool moment, okay. and I think it should be re- remembered, even though mm. fuck you, Hogan, fuck you. 
You tried to, you took down WCW. You almost took down TNA. Now you're going to take down WrestleMania 30 with you. You're not wrecking re this WrestleMania, as in modern day fucking. We hate you, Hogan. So then, guys, out of ten, what would you give it? Um, Seven? let's see. Out of ten, uh, I will go first. I will give this a uh, five out of ten because it's a good first half. Second half is really anticlimactic. Chipmunk. I think spot on. I think five. Yeah. I give it a six <laughs> just because the first half of the matches were, were, that were so good, it kind of makes up, in a sense, for the later matches being quite boring, But so you can still watch the uh, first matches. Yeah, I mean, it's quite nice that this is the last WrestleMania that you had that influx of young talent, um, but the only problem is that nine years later, that influx of young talent is still the ones headlining. I mean, yeah. obviously, we haven't seen people like Punk, Brian... And like a few others, Dolph Ziggler and that debut yet, but these main guys that have won are the main eventers still at the moment. Yeah. Um, Tell that, us next. Yeah, that was WrestleMania 21. We're going on to WrestleMania 22, and we're in Chicago for this one. <laughs> we are Vegas, by the way. Oh my god. Go on. What? I just want to hear who's going to be there. Oh, okay. Um, we got four big matches. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not necessarily saying they're good matches. But we've got four big Seven. matches. Okay, we've got The Undertaker versus Mark Henry in a casket match. <laughs> really? Look, that better be a big casket. Yeah, Holy crap. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty huge. We get Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton versus Kurt Angle for the WWE Championship. Two which should have been the main event. Um, uh, we get Edge versus Mick Foley. <gasps> in a, oh, wow. I think it's a hardcore, hardcore match. Oh, yeah. wow, that's yeah. going to be awesome. Um, and Fantastic the main match. event is John Cena versus Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, that disappointed you, didn't it, after Edge versus Mick Foley? Wait till you watch it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And, but Thanks but then, like, the crowd for me makes the match. After the crowd. And then at the end when... Yeah, yeah we'll see. Yeah. Um, but that was WrestleMania 21. We obviously didn't like it as much as WrestleMania 20. No. Um, we'll WrestleMania see. 20 and 17 are probably the two best manias ever. Uh, 19 is pretty awesome, but we'll 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 cover that in the recap video that's coming after WrestleMania 30. Nice. Um, we'll see you tomorrow for WrestleMania 22. Yeah. I was Bingham. That was Chipmunk. That's Forks. That was Mark. And Mark, I'll just yeah. say now, um, just to give me a little moment, and makes his own little videos, and maybe we'll give you a link or something to them as well, so you yeah, can give Geek him Mania a, guys. a little look at what he does and on his channel. Own. Video game reviews as well. Yeah, yeah. He, he likes to, he's been our special guest this week. Um, give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a comment because we're, well, I'm fucking awesome. Um, uh, let's carry on for WrestleMania 22. We Join are us. eight, yes, no, yes, yes. eight away from WrestleMania 30. No, I couldn't count them point. for a second. <laughs> um, and we will see you. WrestleMania 22, shit. Chicago. See you later. Chicago. Oh, you forgot a match. What's that? Michael's McMahon. Oh, I forgot about that. Michael's McMahon are also in it. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.